What's up everyone, welcome back to another episode of Dragon's Universe Lost Dragon Ball. Now I know everyone got the update, so they released three new characters in being the Golden Cooler, so it is Golden Cooler. Uh, they also released Topo, and even a new character that I was actually surprised, uh, surprised about was uh, Coomber. So I'll show you all three of them, I'll break down their skills and everything and see um, which character you guys should maybe add to your team or not. Now we're going to jump right into it with the Golden Cooler first. Now this is an amazing attack type character with linking with Golden Frieza, Frost, and Topo. They're all 25% attack links, so that's really good for an APT uh, 14 character. Now also he's an attack type character, so I probably would throw him in the back row and I'll explain more why. So right there with his War Soul, he's going to come into the battle with his ultimate. The Golden Power increases his uh, attack and restores 100 Inga points for every death of a warrior on the field. He gets an attack boost with his other skill. Now the Supernova, it increases his attack and defense by 10% and attacks all enemies with a huge energy ball, dealing 20% extra damage to Saiyans and increases his self crit rate by 15% and restores 100 anger points for allies in the back row. And if you awaken it, it restores uh, anger points for every ally on your team, which is really good. But I still would throw him in the back row just because he might have trouble gaining anger points back. So that is why I'd probably throw him in the back row. After he does his ultimate, he'll restore more anger points for himself. Now for his Ruthless Strike, it has a 25% chance of stunning the target, and if you're going up against the Saiyan, that bumps up to a 45% chance to stun, which is really good. So you can definitely throw him on your team if you're running into a lot of Saiyan lineups, like the Super Saiyan God Goku, UI Goku, Super Saiyan Blue Goku, etc, etc. Just a good character to have to counteract that, and he has 75% attack links, so just amazing right there. Now the next character we're going to break down is this Topo. He is also APT 14, so that means they're SSS characters. Links with Jirin, links with Beerus, and also Super Saiyan God Goku. So you have 50% attack links and 25% uh, uh, HP link. So that is really good. Now I'll break down why uh, he's pretty good also. Now starting with his War Soul, every death of an allied unit recovers rage by 80. And uh, every enemy kill recovers rage by 3 fourths. So he should be ultimate attacking pretty often. Now going to his God of Destruction power increases his uh, crit rate by I think 20% base. And then when he does a mini skiller ultimate attack, it increases his uh, defense and attack by 10% up to 30%. And there's only one warrior left on the field for both sides, then I believe he gains HP back. But that could be kind of hard to trigger, at least uh, that bottom effect part. But uh, otherwise, he's pretty good gaining attack and defense. He gets an attack boost. Now for his ultimate destructive waves, he congeals energy, attacking a single target, dealing 15% splash damage to nearby enemies. And um, I think the higher the splash damage coefficient, if the attack hits more than two enemies, then the attack cannot be blocked or resisted and increases his crit strength by 20% for two rounds and deals damage to each target by 10% of Topo's lost HP and recovers 20% of that damage dealt into his HP. So I honestly would throw him in the front row because he's able to heal himself and also increase his defense similar to, I would say, Jirin. And for his uh, Justice Tornado, he attacks a single target, dealing 30% damage to targets whose HP is below a certain amount. It also said after two rounds, he has a 50% chance of reducing damage taken by 30%. That's another reason why I would throw him in the front row. Overall, great character to have if you guys do get him. And you guys can exchange for the Sensu Beans. And now, right here, we have finally the SSS Plus character, Coomber. He links with Vegeta, Super Saiyan God Blue, Vegito, and Super Saiyan God uh, Goku. So I believe it's two uh, uh, attack links and one HP link. So he starts with 115 anger points and regenerates a lot of anger points when a warrior gets killed. So he basically can come into the battle with his uh, ultimate attack ready once you upgrade it. Now this power of revenge is pretty crazy. It increases his self uh, dodge rate in battle and he gains the power of revenge on the first round which increases his damage dealt and damage reduction by 12% at the beginning. On round 1 the number increases by 6% per round up to 24% and Kumber's body enlarges by 15% up to 30%. Kumber will be uh, improved upon killing an enemy with skills or ultimate and restores 15% of max HP and removes all debuffs and uh, immune to all uh, controls within one round. So this is just a pretty crazy ability similar to the Kale. So uh, basically Kale on steroids basically with um, the increase of the damage reduction and also uh, damage dealt. So just a pretty crazy uh, character. Now um, you guys can also look into that further. That could just be insane the amount of stacking power with that done. Now the life attack boost as you know SSS plus characters get the uh, HP and also the uh, attack boost. Now his ultimate is also insane, draining 15% attack and defense and 200 anger points from the target while increasing 30% damage taken for nearby enemies, which is just crazy. And if he fails to kill the main target, it will enter the nightmare status. So the, the target will uh, have ultimate damage minus 15% and also defense minus 15%. And it does 400% damage, so that's crazy. Now for his uh, skill, the multiple evil claw, he attacks enemies in a column with destructive claw, has a 40% chance of paralyzing the main target while increasing his own lifesteal by 50%, deals 40% bonus damage to all nightmare targets, and after gaining all power of revenge, it will be a 100% chance to cast a mini skill. Just insane, 50% chance of, incre or 50 increase in his lifesteal rate, so just crazy character. 
I would say he's better than the Gata Zimasu and on par, if not, um, I would say on par with the UI Goku. I haven't tested him out, but uh, for those that do have him, let me know. Feel free to drop a comment below. Now, here's the exchange. It's actually not the, the four-star Dragon Balls. It's the Sensu Beans, but you can convert the four-star Dragon Balls into Sensu Beans if you want. But um, I, that's what I did. So I now have like 100, or I will do at least. Uh, let's see. So we have like, I think, only a few of these Sensu Beans. And these are all the things you can uh, re um, redeem them for. The Majin Vegeta. And even shards of the Golden Cooler. And the Topo, which is really cool. So now these 5-star Dragon Balls, I probably most likely will also convert into the Sensu Beans. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to get any of these characters. Just because you're going to need a lot of Sensu Beans in order to redeem them to actually get the character. As you guys know, you guys are going to need 150 shards of them in order to get an SSS character. But uh, that's pretty cool. Just showing you all the things you can redeem it for. But overall, these characters are crazy strong. Um, I definitely like the Golden Cooler. How um, uh, this game has a lot of Saiyans in it. And if you're able to get that Golden Cooler with some support, it could be a pretty crazy uh, team. If you throw it on the evil team with a, you know Janumba and uh, maybe even a Beerus or something like that. It would just be a pretty insane team. Um, even the Topo. Topo I would definitely throw in the front row just because of his increased defense and attack. While reducing damage and also healing for himself. And honestly, that Coomber could probably throw in anywhere on the field, either front row or back row, even though he has a skill type character. And they're also having a cross server time limited Super Warrior where you can even get Coomber. So, uh, yeah, you have to spend at least, uh, or at least have to have 7,500 7, points uh, to get him, which is pretty crazy. So, uh, yeah, a really good character. Overall, it was a great update. Uh, let me know if you guys are going to be uh, trying to get them and uh, which one will you be going for. I honestly will probably have to skip it just because I don't have enough resources to get them, unfortunately. But um, hopefully in the future they have more events like that and I'll be able to get them. But definitely that Golden Cooler and the uh, Coomber. Really good characters that I would probably want to try and get. Now we're going to go into the arena real quick. And we'll see who we can take on. Probably take on Unforgiven. Try and get to rank 15. So let's go. This is going to be a pretty tough fight. We're already down like half our HP already. But uh, getting back to the update, this actually took me by surprise. I had no clue they were going to drop Coomber. So that is the third SSS Plus character in the game. Also, make sure to try and go to the Facebook page so you can always stay updated with any updates that might be coming out soon. Even though I'll try my best to also update you guys on any uh, information coming out on the game and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, pretty cool event. Now let's see, this fight is getting pretty close. Uh, we haven't taken out any of his characters yet. And uh, we might take out that Majin Buu, but we have to get pretty lucky. Hopefully one of our characters can hit him. And nope, so that Majin Buu is still alive and did his ultimate to us. So that's not good. <laughs> Now he's probably going to wipe out our back row right here with his Goku Black Rose. So now it's literally only up to Jiren. But because he got so much of a defense boost and attack boost, um, he should be okay. I kind of think we should be able to get the win here. So we take out the, the Goku Black. Now he's going to be able to do his ultimate again, which is really good. And we should be able to take him out this turn. So there we go. The Jiren came in clutch right there and made us win that battle. So yeah, that was a really good fight. And also, I hope you guys all enjoyed the content. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe for more content. And yeah, that's pretty much going to wrap this episode of Dragon Xenoverse Lost Dragon Ball. And as always, I'm out. Later.